Okay, so let's say our message set M is the set of allowed messages contains cardinality of M possible messages. Um, let's say our code word, our code book, C. C is a subset uh, of what I'm going to call x to the n. So this notation means there is some alphabet x, and x to the n means the n-fold Cartesian product of that, of that set. So for example, if x is binary, then x to the n is all length n uh, binary vectors. So we're going to say that our, the set of possible code words is a subset of the, uh, the n-fold Cartesian product of some alphabet set. So x will be called the alphabet set. Or the set of symbols. So that makes sense. Usually at the input to the channel, we'll allow certain symbols to be transmitted. And uh, by, taking, by taking vectors of such symbols, we'll be, we'll, we'll be encouraging, or we'll, excuse me, we'll be representing us, uh, consecutive uses of that channel. And that's quite practical. OK, so for example. Set, uh, how many, uh, without regard to efficiency or anything else, how many symbols from X are needed? So I've got 10 messages here, two possible symbols. Uh, so what's, what's, the, what's the length of vector that I, that I absolutely need in order to cover all possibility? Four. It's four. So um, the reason is, if I take log base 2 of cardinality of m, or excuse me, log base cardinality of x of cardinality of m, that's log base 2 of 10, that's 3.32. So uh, basically this is telling me that in order to represent 10 symbols, how many bits do I need? That's the base here. Um, I take the ceiling of this, and that requires 4 bits. So for example, my code could be something like this. This is a trivial code. So my messages are 0, use 
1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and so on. So in other words, the trivial code can be constructed using the ceiling of log base cardinality of x of cardinality of m symbols. Now the question is, is this the most efficient possible representation? Um, if it was, we'd kind of not really need to have a whole class on this, so the answer is no. But it is the most efficient possible representation under, under uh, certain circumstances. So for instance, let's say I have a message set of 0, 1, 2, up to 7. Now how many bits do I need? 3. So my code could look like this. Now, c is not a subset of x to the 3, c is equal to x to the 3. So that's one requirement, there's no wasted, there are no wasted symbols. But that's not the only requirement. It turns out this is the most efficient possible representation as long as all messages are equally likely. So we can show that rigorously and we will. Um, but intuitively, intuitively why, intuitively why could you be more efficient if one of these messages was much more likely than the others? In other words, Let's say message 0 had a probability of 90%, and the rest had, a prob had probabilities of, well, uh, they, the rest of them shared the remaining probability of 10%. Uh, what would be a more, a more efficient representation? Send a single bit for 0 and then send multiple bits for the rest. Exactly. So send a single bit for the 0. And then start the rest with 1. Start the rest with 1. That's a great idea. So for instance, we could construct a code like this. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, and so on. This is actually, this, this code has, has some nice properties. So for instance, um, this 0 flags us, this, this first bit, 0 or 1, flags us to whether I, start, I have a 0 or whether I'm doing something else. And then the tail of, um, of the code word will tell us um, uh, will tell us which of these digits I'm using. So this would be up to 1111. One, one, one. So this, it turns out, would be much more efficient. So what I would have in that case, uh, before I had three bits. Now let's say this, uh, this occurs with probability 90%, and the rest of these occur with probability 10% in total. This is clearly much more efficient. Why? Because 90% of the time I'm sending one bit, 10% of the time I'm sending four bits. So the, the average length of this code would be 0 0.9 times 1 plus 0 0.1 times 4, which would be 0 0.9 plus 0 0.4, which is 1.3. So on average, I would be sending 1.3 bits every time I sent a message. So, it's very unrealistic to assume that all messages are equally probable. So therefore, the, uh, 